to vlog in ways you've never site project in 1989 the theatricals and volunteers all got tremendous assistance from <laughs> Yes, it is. As the man said, it's the 7th of March. And. Sorry. Yeah, 7th of March. And I'll turn this geezer down for the moment. Just a little bit of a classic hit from the late 80s by UB40 which was played quite frequently in and around the time that I'm going to discuss now 1988-89 in brief basically my as a fringe uh, took time off whilst I was at school to uh, support the archaeological dig for the Rose Theatre site and uh, I believe during the earlier phase uh, just before the Berlin Wall came down in 88 uh, whilst we were on a I believe it was autumn or winter uh, pre-winter break absolutely insisted that I come down join them at the protest site basically the protest site was a uh, section of the street very near the digs where the workmen were trying to dig out the foundations around the Rose Theatre site but uh, developers were all gung-ho to proceed with their building of office blocks which is uh, now the Financial Times uh, which they were moved into but at the time it was it was an absolute you know cross between a muddy patch and a derelict ruins uh, it's just a vacant lot uh, and the uh, protests uh, protest uh, save the Rose Theatre campaign site was basically a group of <laughs> cardboard boxes uh, on one side of the adjacent road which was severely dusty from the lorries passing by during the day and extremely cold at night and the first night I, I arrived it was already petrifyingly cold so I ensured that I I took with me clothing appropriate basically the thickest arctic weight uh, manageable hooded uh, dark sort of like cagoule sort of uh, jacket that I could find and it was uh, it, it was petrifying I mean I didn't I didn't even arrive at the site until it's like nine o'clock in the evening and basically speaking I didn't even get introduced to very many people there uh, that night either it was literally the first day I, day I'd been there uh, was a fringe was uh, okay discussing various other things with uh, other people had to go uh, uh, meet, meet a few other people somewhere else uh, so I was, I was, we were left pretty much to our own devices. Uh, people were graciously <laughs> given various amounts of alcohol to pass the uh, cold, chilly time. And <laughs> it meant that, basically speaking, you had to sort of like try and sort of find as much comfort and... Uh, availability to sleep I mean nothing was set up at this time uh, Timothy Dalton hadn't come through with uh, his uh, his assistance 
at that stage, but was planning to do so. So, basically speaking, <laughs> the whole thing was arranged around uh, an adjacent, slightly slightly protected wind from the wind area, cardboard boxes and the like, and uh, a table to sleep behind. <laughs> um, otherwise, you just had a collection of chairs, uh, and luckily we had a, a bonfire in a in a trash can, an old old style trash can, which were, you know, a bit like scenes from an early Rocky movie. Um, where people just, you know, warm their hands around. So whilst uh, uh, everyone was uh, very you know, jovial and keeping the spirits up, uh, having a few glasses of Chardonnay, a bit of port was available, I was handed a bottle of Southern Comfort, which uh, went down very well. And basically speaking, I saw saw there was absolutely no room for me other than the big high chair. So, with everyone settling down for the night around about half two in the morning, I figured it was about time to get some sleep. So I grabbed the high chair, set it up within two and a half feet of the uh, of the blazing trash can, and. With the Southern Comfort bottle, you know, resting snug on my lap after a, a good few few drams, I uh, I managed to actually get some sleep. Luckily, I was in jeans, which were were quite thick, thick material, so it kept me uh, kept me warm. And of course, the coat, being thick Arctic weight, uh, was an absolute boon. But of course then, I didn't expect what was going to happen next. I mean, we're talking nearly, nearly one, maybe three degrees at five o'clock in the, in the morning. And I get woken up. Um, it's still pitch black. And I, I just barely look through the hood of my coat. And I see this... You know, wizen, wizened old features of a man uh, in a thick, uh, thick full-length coat, black, is wearing a hat, and it's a wide-brim hat. It's it's you know it's one of those it's one of those outrageously large, wide-brimmed black hats, and I'm thinking, uh, okay, hello. <laughs> You know, in in my head, in my head, I'm not not able to say anything because I'm just barely awake, and I hear this voice, and it says, "Hello, would you like a cup of tea or something?" The uh, words of that effect, and he's handing over to me an actual mug of tea at five o'clock in the morning, and I'm thinking to myself, "I recognise that voice." Where do I recognise that voice from? Um, and of course, not having seen much of the, the individual in person before, I, I couldn't immediately place it. But I accept the cup of tea, thank him, uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed the cup of tea. And of course, it wasn't until later, when most of the others had woken up by about half seven in the morning, where... I was able to ask them <laughs> exactly who that was who woke me up with a cup of tea. And they say, oh, oh, you know who that was? That was that the, the fantastic actor who's on today. Yes. Ian McKellen. Yes. He woke me up. And he's got a radio production on today. Which I'm going to thoroughly enjoy of the Aneded. Seamus, Seamus Heaney's Aneded. It's apparently on week. So I recommend you uh, tune in if you get the chance. Or tune in late at night. Uh, it's on again at around 12.30 GMT. So like the following morning. Um, so it's on from the 7th, 8th, 9th. 10th and 11th, so if you don't get the chance to see uh, Radio 4 Extra's 
uh, any of Radio 4 Extra's Sherlock Holmes. The Unneeded is the one to watch or listen to at the very least this week. Aha! That's my claim to fame, specifically with Ian McKellen, the one and only time we've met. Uh, uh, and of course, since then, I've uh, managed to catch a glimpse of him at the X Men premiere, uh, which is on on my YouTube channel. So, have a look out for that. Hello. There was no egg on the mountain top. Just me. <laughs> Are you going to subscribe? And just to make sure, I'll have to take this on the end because this is where the credits roll. But we're also going to mention this. Claudia? Yes, Claudia. My other ghost protocol claim to fame. Yeah. <laughs>